ovulation date is the day that you have a very high chance, over 98% chances of becoming pregnant if you have sex. So today we are going to talk about how to calculate your ovulation. How to calculate your ovulation. What is ovulation? Why is it important? Uh, what are some of the signs and symptoms? Though today the video is specific about how to calculate it, but we shall make a small recap about the signs and symptoms. Hello, our loyal viewers. Uh, this is Dr. Malik, uh, your doctor, your everyday doctor, your answers to all your medical concerns. I want to thank you once again for, for all the time that you've put into watch these videos, for all the questions that you've been sending, for all the messages, the responses that you've been giving. It has been overwhelming and it has been, it has shown a positive feedback from you, our people, that you are following and you are liking our videos and you are finding these very important. You can always ask us any questions. We have our WhatsApp numbers. We have uh, our, our website. We have all the sources that you want to access us and know each and everything about you that you would like to know. <clears throat> so ovulation, before you know about ovulation, there are some things that you need to know about it, about the cycle. One, there is what we call safe days. Safe days are the days that when you have sex, you can never get pregnant. There are no chances that you can get pregnant. Those are the safe days. There is what we call fertile days. Fertile days are the days that come with a high chance of you becoming pregnant when you get into sexual activities, unprotected sex. There is what we call a fertile or ovulation day. Ovulation day is the day that you have a very high chance, over 98% chances of becoming pregnant if you have sex, unprotected sex. And there is what we call luteinizing hormone. Luteinizing hormone is the hormone that induces ejection of the ovum or of the egg from the woman's ovaries to come for fertilization. So when you know all this, you can clearly identify the difference between any of them. It can also help you in calculating, in knowing when is it fertile, when is it uh, safe, when is it ovulation, and know and identify and know when to use each day importantly. For those ones who want to protect themselves from becoming pregnant, it can also be important. For those ones who want to get become pregnant, it can also be important. Because there are a lot of women who think they are infertile when they are not really infertile, when they are fully fertile. I have made a video about infertility and all the causes of infertility. You can go and watch it. There are uh, causes of infertility, but then there are people who think they are infertile when they are not. Where the problem is with calculations of their fertile day or the ovulation day. And when they do learn this, it will really change a lot. It will change a lot in their in their fertility intentions. In this case, let us look at the signs and symptoms of, of, of ovulation before we go to learning how to calculate. Some of the signs, we are doing a small recap because there is a video that, shown, that shows all the signs and symptoms of ovulations. I've made that video, you can go and watch it. One of the signs and symptoms is uh, one change in smell uh, in heightened senses. You will have uh, an excessive change in smell or uh, taste. That is one of the signs. There will be cervical changes, the cervix will change, and it will come this from this hard, from the hard tip of the nose to the soft tip of your tongue. There will be an increase in libido. People who are in ovulation usually have an increased libido. They usually want sex so much. A woman or a girl who is in ovulation, she is craving for sex that day so much. There is a change in the temperature. There will be some, some women have a temperature increase, especially in the morning when you test yourself, you will find yourself with an increased temperature. There will be a, the sensitivity of your breasts will increase. Your breasts will become very sensitive. They will become somehow tender. That means on touch, they are somehow painful and an increase in the size. These signs might not be obvious to the person outside, but to you, the owner, you will see them and you will be able to know if you've been taking good care of your body. And you'll be able to see. There will be a minor bleeding. Not to everyone, but some women or some girls will get some spotting. Why? Because uh, during the process of ovulation, there's what we call a, uh, the follicle, which bursts to release an egg, to eject an egg or ovum out to go to the armchair for fertilization. So in that case, that bursting might come with some trauma that brings blood out that needs to be ejected out. So you get that kind of spotting to some people, though not everyone. Then some people get, some women get bloating or nausea. Bloating means some kind of gas in the stomach and some kind of feeling, some kind of nauseation or wanting to vomit. 
without so without wasting so much time let us go plan it how to calculate the ovulation date the ovulation date this happens uh this is this is specifically for a regular cycle a regular 20 days eight cycle or 26 days cycle or 30 days cycle which is regular and consistent there is a video i've made about the irregular periods the periods that are not consistent whereby someone goes into periods uh, on 16th this month and then the other months they go into the on 20th or 11th or whatever but specifically for this one you're looking at a regular 28 20 uh 26 or 30 days cycle that is consistent so in this case let us look at the this is the cycle what you have to know is that your cycle starts on the day that you have your periods don't calculate the date depending on the usual calendar you count you count the day you start your periods as your day one your day one is the day that you have your periods so because some people have periods for three days other people for four days but they can have periods up to seven days as long as they are not heavy up to seven days it is okay to some people as long as they are not heavy or painful if the seventh the fifth the sixth and the seventh day are light and you reach there it is okay as long as it does not exceed seven as long as as long as it's not heavy as long as it's not painful so you calculate your days from the day you have your periods that is the one the last day that you start your periods again that is the last day and that becomes your whole cycle some people you know when you ask some people how many days is your cycle they say three days confusing the menstrual days with the cycle the whole month your cycle is the whole month the time the day that you take to get periods back again so if you take the day that you have your 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 periods as your day one this is the day one like, I'm, like you can see the drops of blood this shows bleeding or menstruation it shows menstruation or bleeding so usually in a 28 day cycle ovulation happens on the 14th day on the 14th day which is ideally the midday however there are days which we call fertile days or there are days that we call uh what that we call uh, fertile days that there are higher chances of becoming pregnant within these days that is not the ovulation day and these days usually someone should have as much sex as possible because because they have they have you know this is an average because the ovulation may happen on the 12th or the 16th or the 17th however most of the times most of the times it happens on the 14th so like we say at first there is what we call safe days there is what we call fertile days there is what we call ovulation day and safe days so here we are going to look at all of them for example the seventh day from the first day of your periods when you are in your periods and up to seventh are they are safe and from seventh up to eleventh or tenth they are always safe there are less chances of you becoming pregnant there are less chances of you becoming pregnant and from the eighteenth day usually from the eighteenth day up to the twenty eighth day you are also very safe and there are very less chances there are no chances of you becoming pregnant remember we said the ovulation or the egg lasts for only 24 hours so if this egg was released here on the 14th day and it got destroyed or it become became invalid after the 24 hours it means all these days are going to be very safe and you cannot so from the 18th day up to the 28th it means it is very safe and you cannot get pregnant so for those ones who want to avoid getting pregnancy this is the time to avoid and for those ones who want to get pregnant this is the time not to waste time this is the time not to waste time the time for you is down here so uh, ensure that you you send in all your questions ensure that you you ask where you have not understood ensure that you 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 find out what exactly that you have missed understanding we have put this picture on our website you can go to the website and check on it you can download it and zoom it and use it for whatever reasons that you want to use it or it will help guide you throughout then still you can reach us on our whatsapp number the whatsapp number is there you can reach to us and ask any questions that you want to ask or do the inquiries that you need to inquire or do any private chatting that you would want to in case there's something that you need to understand or you need to be guided through ensure that you you find out because this is your health this is your life and it is important for you to know we will catch up in the next episode but we have put a lot of videos that show all and describe a lot of other things that would be important for your health 
for your neighbor's health, for your relative's health, or for anyone that, that may be in that need of a specific problem. Ensure that you ask anything that you have not understood or that you would want us to make a video about. We shall be reaching to you. Thank you.